guest is a very, very funny comedian and actor who just released his first comedy CD, Feeling Kinda Patton. He also stars in The King and Queens Wednesdays at 9 on CBS. Well, in about 10 hours, she's going to open her door to find me standing there holding a single red rose and saying, Excuse me, miss, I think I left my love in here. In case I didn't say it, thanks for this. Come on, man, that's what friends do. Oh, you guys are great. Hey, right back at you. Yeah. I'm glad you're in my life. Okay, love scene over. Please welcome Pat Oswalt. You're a funny guy, and you're on a very funny show, The King of Queens. That is true, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah I'm just coasting on that, man. Just I'll coasting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, how, did I see you the other day at the party? We had a CBS party at, yeah. at Dodger Stadium. Yeah, they, they had this big, that big press tour party we yeah. went to, and... You're, you were standing, like, far away, because I'm such a nobody that no one bothers me. Oh, stop that. No, like, the press, like, they talk to, like, the big stars, and I can just sit there and get drunk and eat yeah. Dodger dogs. And, <laughs> and then I take pictures like a big fanboy, so I took a picture of you, and I thought you were talking to, like, two teenage fans, and you were talking to Rob Lowe and Charlie Sheen. Oh, but, they, well, but you're so tall, it yeah. looked like these two, yeah. two yeah. teens are like, hey, we have, like, a website about you, man, and if you were, like, you know, it literally looked like they were, like, bothering you or something. It yeah. Cool. So I, it bothers me that you were taking pictures of people, though. Why were you doing that? Because I just I was getting drunker and drunker, and then I would be like, "Hey, that's Joey Pants," and then I would like get all these bad pictures of Joey Pants, or like I kept trying to get pictures of Lorenzo Lamas because he was actually prettier than his wife. Yeah. And he so looked like he didn't have a sense of humor, so I thought if I went up to him, he might punch me. So I just so instead, of course, my solution is to be the creepy lurking guy in out of the corner of everyone's eye, right? Yeah. And then just coming up to them, I'm just like. Oh, Oh yeah, click and yeah. I don't even know if I saw you there, but I was those guys. You know, when you talk to Rob Lowe, you got to give him the eye contact. That's oh, the man. way it is. Yeah, exactly. Now, are you telling me that fans do not recognize you? Because that's what people are saying. Um. Well, for the the times I get recognized, like especially in like a place of business, yeah, I get recognized by the employee that all the other employees clearly hate. You know, like the one guy, <laughs> the office pariah, loves my stuff, and he's like, "Yes, I've seen you on uh, the TV." Yeah. And then his friends are like, yeah, Rod, just make his coffee and get him out of here. I don't know wow. what his problem is. So the pariahs love me. That's the, what about the ladies? Uh, you got the, a paycheck pariah, coming. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man, I got to call my manager. I didn't know that was going on. Awesome. Um, usually, like, it's, uh, like, really hot nerd chicks like me, like, Ghost World type chicks, which is fine. <laughs> that's, that's okay. No, no, I They're love that. They're sexy. Those, those are my favorites, man. I like the, the kind of Russ Meyer type chicks. So that, you know. Buxom? Yes, buxotic. Yeah. Curvaciously cantilevered. Yeah, yeah. Gravity defying. I can't remember the other stuff from Super Vixens. I think that was that... enough. I okay, think yeah. you've revealed enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, they tell me also you're into comic books. Yeah, you know, I was down at the San Diego uh, convention this past weekend. So you're serious about comic I was, books? I was there for three days. I had a hotel room. Wow. I was, like, walking around. Yeah. And, you know, for when I went down there, I was like... And it was because I am a nerd, and yet I'm, I'm a nerd that kind of has both my feet. Like, I'm not showing up in a Harry Potter costume. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's, like, different levels of nerds. It's yeah. almost like, you know, how heroin addicts make fun of speed freaks. Like, different levels of <laughs> sadness. You know that, right? So, um... Yeah. Do, you, uh, do, you, do you... Do you go down there to buy comic books? Yeah. Rare ones? Yeah, I'm always looking for... This, I was looking for a lot of rare hardbacks this year. I don't really, I don't want it, the, any of the single issues anymore. I just don't have room for them. Yeah. You know, there are too many. But you know what's kind of sweet was you would see a couple walking around, yeah. and the guy would be dressed as a stormtrooper, yeah. and she would be dressed as the green chick from that Star Trek episode. Yeah. And you're going, wow, they, they really found each other. Like, he <laughs> fantasized about, you know who that green chick should have hooked up with was a stormtrooper. Yeah. And she thought, I wonder if she would fall in love with it, and like, if the universe is crossed, and they just said, you you know what? Let's bring it into this world, that's, man. That's, great. that's love. It's so beautiful. Man. I love that. Um, 
Can I just, I, I have a limited knowledge of, of comic books. Can I just uh, tell me if these are, this was like in the late 60s, early 70s. Okay. Submariner. Yep, Submariner. Is that, is that is a big deal? He was, yeah. The, he started in Marvel Comics. He yeah. sort of was a villain, but then was misunderstood. Maybe had a flirtatious affair with Sue Storm from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Later ended wow. up helping the Fantastic Four, but still has a very shaky relationship with wow. Reed Richards and the other heroes. Wow. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, here's one. Here's one. I'm losing all my female fans as the, I speak. This right. guy, I love this guy, and he, but he's more popular, I believe, than Submariner. But Let's I think see. he should have been huge. I think he should have been bigger. Huh. Thor. Thor. <laughs> Thor. Yeah. Thor is the uh, Asgardian god of thunder yeah. with his uh, hammer. I don't know how to pronounce it. Me, Mjorn, m j nerds, help me out. It had a name. <laughs> Started with an M. And he uh, was a founder of the uh, Avengers and. Uh, and, uh, Wasn't by, he with Captain America? And yeah, then, he, him, Captain America, the Hulk, Iron Man. I don't uh, want to be Bullseye. participating in this. I don't want to offer yeah, exactly. anything. <laughs> so, but Thor looked really cool, and he had the hammer. Yeah, you know who would be a good Thor would be uh, if they made a movie? Uh, just put a blonde wig on the Rock. And yeah, just have the Rock. Throw hammers at people. Yeah, yeah, he'd be great. Or have a drunk guy who just thinks he's Thor, and he just throws hammers at people. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be good too. Just has why, adventures. By the way, why did you take so long? This is your very first one. You've been doing stand-up for years. Yeah, you know what? Because every time I would do a special or something, a month after the special, I would go. Oh, I have all this new material that I, you know, I wish I had done. So, yeah. after I'd done all those, the the CD, different company, you know, labels wanted me to put one out, and I said, you know, I'm just going to wait. And I waited till I. That that's like 80 minutes of a two and a half hour show. It I has everything. Like, it has yeah. Ben Grimm on here. It has yes, Captain it has America, ben, the it, Fantastic it has all of them. Four. Yeah, exactly. It's all comic. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> but it looks good. 24 <laughs> different. What is it? 24 different topics here. Uh, Topics? No, those are like. Um, are those just jokes? See, Craig, stand-up comedy yeah. is um, a thing where we. Oh, <laughs> look! Sorry, I'm being. Oh uh, uh, no, it's uh, King of Queens. We actually are out of time, but we'll talk more comic books. You're so show. mad at me right no, now. No, no, no. <laughs> King of Queens Wednesdays at nine on CBS, yeah. and then feeling kind of Patton, which is your first name, Patton Oswalt, everybody. <laughs> on The Late Late Show, a shunting.